Today let's talk about conditional formatting in Microsoft Excel. Using conditional formatting, you can do things like highlight top three rows from your data or insert icon sets or data bars to quickly get insights about your data. Hi, it is Junaid here from the Valor Academy where I help you to improve your Microsoft Excel skills. So you must have observed the stock market data. By looking at just the color of the stock price or the arrow of the stock price, you can easily understand whether the stock price is going up or down without having to do the math in your head. Conditional formatting in Excel does something similar. It will help you automatically highlight data that meets the conditions specified by you and thus help you get quick insights about your data and make worksheets easier to understand. So let us start from the basic. Let's quickly look at how we can assign icon sets to our data. First of all, select your data. Then under the Home tab, go to Conditional Formatting and from the drop down list, hover your mouse to the icon sets and select the icons. Excel will quickly assign the icons on the basis of value in the cell. The icons are assigned on the basis of Excel's default rules. To check the default rules, select your data, then conditional formatting, icon sets, and more rules here, and select the icons, and you can see the default values here. You can see that when the value is greater than or equal to 67%, green icon will be assigned. When the value is less than or equal to 67%, but greater than or equal to 33%, yellow icon pointing to the right will be assigned and when the value is less than 33%, a red icon will be assigned. So you can see that you can customize the icon sets as well as uh, the rules on the basis of which these icons will be assigned. For example, you can change this to number here and change this to 1 lakh. That means when the value is greater than or equal to 1 lakh, this green green icon will be assigned okay similarly you can customize the value for other icons also and this is the flexibility excel offers you now let's look at data bars and see how we can use them to get insights about our data data bars are a quick alternative to bar charts using data bars you can insert colored bars inside a cell to show how a given cell value compares to other cells longer data bars represent higher values and shorter data bars represent lower values Example of situation where data bars are useful include length of soundtracks, customer ratings, etc. Like in the case of icon sets, Excel inserts the data bars using the default rules. However, you can customize these rules and define minimum and maximum data bar values in Excel. Since I have already inserted data bars to the data on this sheet, so let's quickly clear the conditional formatting and insert the data bars afresh. To clear the conditional formatting, select your data then go to conditional formatting, clear rules and clear rules from selected cells. Now to insert the data bars again, select the data, conditional formatting, data bars. Here you have two options. You have the gradient fill and the solid fill. I will go with the solid fill. I will select the below data bar here and Excel will insert the data bars using the default rules. Now let's quickly examine Excel's default rules for data bars and try to make some modification in the default rules. So to make the modification we will select the data, then click on conditional formatting, data bars, click on more rules here. We will observe here that Excel has automatically assigned the minimum and maximum value for the data bars. It is turned into automatic. However, you can change it to a number. For example, I will convert the minimum value to number 0. I will put 0 here. And if you have a target value to be achieved, you can put the maximum value as your target value. So I will convert this to number. For example, my target sales is 20 lakh. So I will write 20 lakh here. As soon as I click on OK, you will observe the change in the data bars. So see here that the data bars are adjusted accordingly. Now in the last part of this video, we will look at how we can use formula to highlight an entire row on the basis of value of a cell in that row using conditional formatting. But before we do that, if you are finding value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really makes a huge difference. So look at the sales data. Here we have sales figures of all the sales managers and we want to highlight the top performing three sales managers. Here in this case, we want the entire rows to be highlighted. This situation demands that we use formula based conditional formatting. So let's first clear this conditional formatting here. We will select the data, then go to conditional formatting, clear rules, clear from selected cells. Now to use a formula in conditional formatting, I will select the data, 
then click on condition formatting click on new rule and here i will click on use a formula to determine which cells to format and i will paste the formula here but i want you to focus on this line here it says that format values where this formula is true that means if the formula is true those values will be formatted and if the formula is not true if it is false the values will not be formatted you will paste your formula here then you will click on format and select your format accordingly you can select the number formatting font border or fill color and click on ok but before i do that before i paste the formula directly in the formula box i want to make things simple for you so let's go back to our objective our objective is to highlight top three sales managers that means we have to calculate the ranking of these sales managers on the basis of their sales amount so to calculate the rank we will use the rank.avg function i have done it here i will do it again i will delete this here I will delete this also so to calculate the rank of each of the sales managers i will use a rank.avg function equal to rank.avg i will select the number on the basis of which i have to calculate the rank so it is a sales amount here i will select this cell comma i have to give the reference my reference is this range d4 through d14 so i will type d4 through d14 here comma order so the order should be deciding i will select zero here close the parenthesis but before i hit enter i have to fix this that means i have to convert these references into fixed referencing so i will select the references here then press f4 on the keyboard it will convert them into fixed referencing if you want to know more about relative absolute and mixed referencing i want you to watch my video tutorial on the same link is in the description so as soon as I hit enter on the keyboard, Excel will calculate the rank for the first sales manager. So he is the second ranking sales manager on the basis of his sales amount. So when I drag this formula to other cells, what do you expect? Will Excel calculate rank for other sales managers also? The answer is no. Guess the reason. The reason is that this reference here is fixed. No doubt that the column should be fixed. Yes, it should be fixed. but the but the row here it should be relative that means we have to remove the dollar sign here so that excel accordingly adjusts the row number so after removing the dollar sign i will hit enter and then i will drag the same formula to other cells and this time excel will calculate the ranking accordingly having calculated the rank for each of the sales managers we will test our condition the condition is rank should be less than or equal to three if this condition is fulfilled it means that the sales manager falls in top three so to make things simple we will copy the formula we will click on this cell then copy the formula from formula box click on ctrl c click on this cell and paste the formula then put our condition the condition is the rank should be less than or equal to three hit enter and for the first manager for the first sales manager the condition is fulfilled that means he falls in the top three then we will drag the same formula to other cells so you will see that the second sales manager also falls in this criteria and this one here also falls in the in the same criteria that means these three fall in the top three now having understood the rank function and the condition where our formula is true that is where our sales managers fall in the top three rankings we will simply click on this cell then copy the formula from the formula box using ctrl c then press escape select the data then go to conditional formatting click on new rule click on use a formula to determine which cells to format paste the formula here then select the type of formatting i will select the fill color here i will select this light green color and i will also convert the font to bold here click on ok ok and observe the formatting for the top three sales managers the important point to note down here is that it's all dynamic suppose the sales of Lewis go up to 150000 as soon as the value in the cell changes Lewis comes in and Sigil is dropped out having copied this formula in the new formatting rule dialog box we can now safely remove these helper columns simply select them and press delete on the keyboard so i hope that next time you use microsoft excel you will definitely consider using conditional formatting because that is the reason i am creating these videos 
I would also recommend you to watch my video on how to combine multiple worksheets into a single worksheet using Power Query because most Excel users face this situation every now and then. Link for that video is in the description. I hope this video was helpful. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Keep supporting, subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching.